स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू त्रिवेणी मेमोरियल सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट क्लास वी फिनिश वन ऑफ आर चैप्टर फ्रॉम हिस्ट्री इन क्लास एट एंड दैट इज वीवर्स आइन स्मेल्टर्स एंड फैक्ट्री ओनर्स स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सो लेट्स अ लुक स्टूडेंट्स आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट काइंड ऑफ क्लोथ हैड अ ग्रेट मार्केट इन यूरोप दैट इज चिंट आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड that to you in detail while we were doing our chapter then your bandana and many more examples were discussed by us which follow different flowered pattern and the pattern of tying and dyeing as well the next question is what is jamdani what is jamdani jamdani is a fine muslin on which decorative muftis or women on the loom typically in gray and white so basically it is a kind of textile only weaving textile and nothing else the next is what is bandana this also we discussed bandana means bandan process a particular textile or piece of cloth or a scarf that you can tie it around your neck you can see here also bandana is a brightly colored and printed scarf for neck and head this word was derived from the word bandhan it referred to a variety of brightly colored cloth produced through a method of tying and dyeing the next question is who are the garyas this i also told you these are the groups of men and women who were carrying basket loads of iron and were known as agarias common iron smelters or iron ore keepers you can say the next question is your fill in the blanks first one is the word chint comes from the word chin that i also already discussed with you in the chapter the sword tipu sultan sword is made up of which steel woos steel that was also discussed by us you can see here and the next question is indian textile exports declined in which century in 19th century the next question is how do the names of different textile tell us about their history this i discussed with you in detail while we were reading the chapter like the chint come from the word chint bandana which come from the word bandhan recently also i discussed with you and bandhan means the process of tying or dyeing a particular piece of cloth in the same way different different words point out towards a different structure or different nature of textiles so we can say each word represent a different textiles that had already been discussed by us and so students our next question is why did the wool and silk producers in england protest against the import of indian textiles in the early 18th century this also we studied that they were facing cut throat competition from indian textiles even the queen herself wanted to wear indian textile cloth only because of their extreme fine quality so in order to avoid that cut throat competition they pro protested uh, against these uh, indian textile clothes the next is how did the development of cotton industries in britain affect textile production in india this i already told you when industries got developed in britain all the people in india lost their job they became jobless less employment opportunities were there and in fact they were not having in a sort of money for themselves to have two time meals also and for that they protest to the indian government also although some of the people like mahatma gandhi came in their support but that was worthless because they were facing extreme competition from british textile industries and that is the reason that they started losing interest in weavers and starting weaving clothes and they started shifting themselves to cities in search of new job opportunities for themselves like they engaged themselves in the cotton mills that were already established there they started establishing themselves as agricultural laborers they started working in tea plantation and many more thereafter students next question is 
Why did the Indian iron smelting industries declined in the 19th century? The same question, same points are there students uh, that I discussed with you now. So, in your own points as we have already discussed this right now and earlier also in the chapter with you in detail, you can write these points in your own words. So, students next question is, what problems did the Indian textile industry face in the early years of its development? What were these problems? Least government support and thereafter unsecured market because they are facing competition from Britishers or from British government or British industries as well. The next question is, what have Tisco expand steel production during the first world war? This I already told you as world war, war situation was going on, they need more iron and steel for building up their weapons or tools. For that they need or they started importing Indian iron and steel to their place and that is the reason why there was increase in the iron and steel production in India during the first world war situation. And also government also played an initial role in that where government stated that the import of British iron and steel in India was banned and if any trader was involved in such activity they have to pay high amount of tax so these were the reasons why iron and steel industries got encouraged or increased during the first world war so students that's it about our chapter these are the all sort of questions that we have discussed and students now we are done with our chapter and hope you understand the chapter very well. So, we will meet in next session students. So, till then take care and thank you students.